Hello and welcome, my name is Javier Rivera and today in our DTF, I'm going to be showing you, this should be a very quick video, I'm going to show you an ultrasonic cleaner. Um, now this one, I'm, I'm pretty much cleaning ink that got on the printhead. I'm not using it to get rid of a clog, um, I just I had a lot of ink around it and I wanted it to make sure that I got all the ink out. So without further ado, let's go ahead, let's get started on showing you an ultrasonic cleaner. where it goes now the reason why i'll put it on the ultrasonic cleaner i'll take it apart i will not put it all in one piece on the ultrasonic cleaner because then i won't be able to dry this out and i need this dry um, if these contacts and all this stuff is wet you will get a death coat you'll blow on a, a main fuse okay so let's go ahead um and i got the ultrasonic ready so let's go ahead and, and start putting all the parts in there so um First, I'm going to do the printhead, so I'm just going to put that in there. Um, I'm not going to do the rubber piece. Actually, I think I got room. All right, guys. So sorry for the weird angle. I'm trying to do this video um, as fast as I can. But um, anyway, so we have the ultrasonic ready um, with the solution. Um, if everybody was wondering um, what solution I use, this is what I use. Um, but again. This is expensive, guys. This is this is not cheap. This is for um, board cleaning and all that stuff. Um, so, so what I do is I do two thirds of that and one third of distilled water. Okay, um, any distilled water will work. Okay, is you want distilled water because you don't want minerals in it. Um, any other water, if even if it's filtered, it still has deposits and stuff like that. So anyway, so we're going to just put our board in here. And we're going to set this up for five minutes. Now the key is no heat. You don't want heat because then you're going to make your clog worse. Um, you know, you, everybody knows that DTF uh, cures with heat. So if you go ahead and put your ultrasonic with heat, uh, I'm telling you right now, um, might as well just, just throw the printhead away. So we're just going to go ahead and put this for five minutes. And we're just going to let the ultrasonic do its thing. All right, so now that we're done, we are going to remove the parts. Now I'm going to just throw the rubber piece and the other metal piece in there. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the solution and I am going to put just regular distilled water. You need, it's key, it's a key component of doing this. Um, you don't want to have that solution. Um, so you need, you need to flush it with distilled water. All right, so we put um, just distilled water on the machine. Um, we're not gonna just put these pieces in there. We are going to close this up and we're gonna set it for another five minutes. And now while I have this uh, for the five minutes just to do the pre-wash, I am going to set my oven to 250 degrees. A lot of people, um, a lot of people can air dry them if you have an air compressor that it's, that it's you know, um, it's dry. You can use that. Um, I recommend put it on the oven, but you want somewhere between 225 to 250 degrees. You don't want more than that because then the solder of all that circuit board will melt and then literally you're just rolling it. So, um, so all you want to really do is just evaporate the water. Um, you don't want to melt the electronic components um, or melt the solder. Um, so again, you just want to evaporate the water. So I'm going to preset my oven to 250. Um, as soon as this comes out, I'm going to dry it with the paper towels and everything. And then I'm going to put it on the oven. Um, I'm probably going to leave it another like maybe five, six minutes on the oven. Um, and then once that dries out, um, then I can go ahead and let it cool down for a little bit and then I can reinstall. All right, so now that the uh, ultrasonic is done, um, I'm gonna remove these parts. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and dry them a little bit um, by hand. Okay, now my oven is ready, so I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna go ahead and um, pretty much, I'm just gonna take this to the oven. And uh, like I said, dry it out. Um, at this point, I know that all these meshes and everything, I don't have anything 
um, inside. Um, you know, I know these channels are, are pretty much clean and everything. So, so no ink will get solid. So, um, again, once again, that's how it is. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on the oven. All right, guys. So there you have it. Um, sorry for the angle. Just trying to make this a quick video. Um, now, when it comes to the ultrasonic cleaner, there's going to be a lot of people um, having their opinions and yes or no and whatever. Now, if there is no DTF ink on the print head, I recommend using it. If there is DTF ink in it, um, you, and you're going to use this, you cannot put any temperature on your ultrasonic cleaner. Um, and then I also don't recommend it. Now, a lot of people are going to have different opinions on it because they're probably using this for um, sublimination ink or any other type of um, inkjet printer or anything like that. But when it comes to DTF, remember, DTF ink will cure at a certain temperature. Once, once you start hitting those 200 and I'll say probably 260 degrees, even a little bit lower than that, maybe the two, uh, yeah, 260 and higher. Um, roughly, and I'm, I'm just going from the back of my head right now, but around 260 and higher, that ink is going to become rubber. So remember, you use an ultrasonic cleaner, um, you, you know, you put temperature on it, that ink that is inside is going to become rubber, it ain't going to come out, one. Second, um, if you're going to let it air dry, good luck. I have never found that to work. And if you have any type of liquid on that print head, um, you're going to burn your main fuse. So what I recommend is when after you use your ultrasonic cleaner, what the solution you're using. Again, if it's to fight a clog, I don't recommend it, but you can use just regular print head solution on it. In this case, I was using a solution that is made to clean out circuit boards. And the reason why is because I wanted to remove all the ink that was around the circuit board. So um, after that, you have to use distilled water. Do not use regular water. Regular water got mineral deposits. You're going to short out your printhead. Okay. So you need distilled water. You have to use distilled water to clean the solution out of it. Okay. If not, you're going to have corrosion into your board. Then after that, you have to put it on an oven to evaporate the water residue that is in there. Now, what you want to do is you want to use a very, um, you know, very low point on a heat. So you want to do around a 200 to 250 degrees and you want to do just a couple of minutes and that's it. What you want is to evaporate that distilled water and then you can go ahead and install it. And that's why I don't recommend it on DTF because if there's any residue of DTF ink in that print head, you just made that rubber. So, uh, so you just made that clock even stronger. So, Again, that is on my professional um, advice. I'm not going to say that somebody out there that's a professional that's been doing this for a long time knows how to clean these print heads, how to remove all the ink, and pretty much how to make sure that when you're using an ultrasonic cleaner, you're using, you, you don't have any temperature settings on it, and that you pretty much don't sulfide that DTF. I use it. Um, I use them to clean mine, and, and there's no problem with it. Again, it's, you need to know what you're doing. So it is the best way to clean a printhead. But also, if you are if you start using temperature to clean it, which you will need um, to do to evaporate the, the water and all that stuff, and there is any DTF ink inside of it, um, you, you just made a clog. And you might not even see it. And again, this is from another video that I was just doing earlier. But you can see how small these channels are on these print heads. And if you have even a little drop of DTF ink in that and you put this on the oven, guess what? You just clog your printer head. So again, I just wanted to, to show you guys because there's been a lot of questions about ultrasonic cleaners. Can we use them? Can we don't? Um, if it's regular inkjet, if it's regular um, <clears throat> sublimination, um, yeah. Why not? You know, it's the best way to clean it. If it's DTF, be very careful, specifically put in temperature on your ultrasonic cleaner and when you put it on the oven. If not, you just created a clog and it's worse. But again, there was a lot of questions about the print head. So hopefully, um, you know, this answer on the ultrasonic, um, again, I, I really don't recommend it. I use it, but when I use it, is it, I, I'm, I know for sure that there is no ink in that print head. 
Um, and also I always make sure that I'm not burning that main fuse by leaving any, any water residue on it. So again, hopefully you like my video, you like my content. Um, if you do, please hit me with a subscribe. Any questions, go to my DTF group and I always thank you for watching and to my group. Thank you guys. I really appreciate all the support and all the help that you guys give me. Anyway, till the next one.